what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i haven't done a friday the 13th film in many months and that's because there's literally nothing that i have really thought of off the top of my head that i want to talk about regarding this franchise i am a fan of it but again i think i've made it pretty clear in previous videos i'm not the biggest fan of jason in general um uh, he's on the bottom of the totem pole for me when it relates when it as it relates to the big three anyway michael jason and freddie but recently Corey feldman sat down with movie web and gave some exclusive information and in regards to how it relates to the progression of this franchise and what we sh what we may have to look forward to in the future this is not him confirming that the legal battle is actually over since he didn't provide any receipts he just made a statement about it and his wording was according to this headline the headline from movie web states that Corey feldman says friday the 13th legal battle is resolved and he wants a tommy versus jason movie now i'm sure if you're someone who stays on top of your friday the 13th news you've been hearing this idea of the tommy versus jason movies probably since the late 2000s maybe even early 2010s at the latest as it relates to a movie like that happening but he had this to say when referencing this supposed legal battle being over that we know has been ongoing and what's been not only hurting the franchise but it brought the video game that i know a lot of us enjoyed to a complete halt as well it says i he said that i think if we do any reboots the reboot should be tommy versus jason reboot interestingly enough some guy came up to me at a party this is true two weeks ago and said he has resolved the rights issue he's a lawyer and he has resolved the rights issues around friday the 13th and that things are working out and now they'll be able to start making friday the 13th movies again he again did not provide any evidence apparently that would back up this claim so that's why i feel like everyone who is coming across this article would probably need to take it with a grain of salt at best because again it's not something that's being officially confirmed with any receipt of his who knows even who this lawyer was there's a whole lot of possibilities to consider with a statement like this i'll just say with Corey feldman saying this and then i was also hoping that this lawyer was shelly from friday the 13th part three because I'm, I'm not remembering the actor's name but i believe he is a lawyer these days and i feel like when i was scrolling through twitter i saw his reaction to this and it was kind of like an eye roll at best about these comments so now now that i was thinking about that the minute he said a lawyer talked to him i know it wasn't shelly so i'm gonna just say that Corey feldman whoever this lawyer was that talked to him this lawyer either whether trustworthy or not they didn't provide any proof of this Corey feldman just took their word for it and he's saying that he got told that a lawyer told him that the rights issues have been resolved which is fine for him to say but you know you, you haven't provided any proof on the matter so i don't think anyone should really get overly excited about this if you want to you can uh as far as like the whole tommy versus jason narrative goes wh where would you put that at in the timeline would you place it after part six would you place it after part four and ignore parts five six and onward and as as a result of you even putting it after part six you'd be you'd be ignoring all the other ones too i'm sure those of you out there that are are aware of jason goes to hell goes to hell and jason x you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily mind those films being ignored also maybe even jason takes manhattan you wouldn't mind that one being ignored uh but a tommy versus jason movie i wouldn't be opposed to it if i had to say where i would place it in the timeline i would personally put it after part four if Corey feldman would be the one reprising the role as tommy jarvis which i don't even think would be the case i think if they even did that it wouldn't be Corey feldman rep reprising the role but let's say that he would be the one reprising the role and then yes i would argue that it should be placed after part four i would not want to see it placed after part six and Corey feldman is not the one playing and the one who played what i meant to say was i would not want to see it placed after part six and the actor who played tommy jarvis in part six isn't the one that's playing him now i would rather since Corey feldman was already in the franchise i would rather this be set after part four where Corey feldman was still an active participant in this role his first ever portrayal of tommy jarvis and just take it from there now how the movie itself would play out i don't necessarily think that would be the best of quality well-made movie in terms of the narrative anyway because they could do 
tremendous work as far as technical technical aspects the way it's directed the way it's acted the way everyone is selling this to you but they could have just the most lackluster narrative written script there is that's what i would just take from a movie titled tommy versus jason or jarvis versus jason even even because that's i think what one of the titles were that feldman talked about previously when he has brought up this project he's talked about this plenty of times he also goes on to say that he isn't really a fan of the of the reboot he wanted to do like an h2o style film with the whole jason versus jarvis film that he wanted to be done with platinum dunes but they opted to do the reboot that we know we got in 2009 so you know time Corey Feldman, he 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 has every right to say what he wants to say about this franchise, and I can agree or not not agree. He's not saying anything harmful here, so I, I really could care less <laughs> about what he really thinks about these films or if he comes back or not. I do enjoy Corey Feldman's work as an actor. I just feel like with Corey Feldman in the public eye, many people feel he's just lost a lot of credibility when it relates to making claims like this. Uh, and again, there's nothing wrong with making claims. It's just that there's there's nothing here on uh, coming from him that I think should warrant any fan of this franchise to then get overly excited about. I'm just being honest there. He's not he's not saying he talked to anyone specifically that's involved with anything that we I would say I guess can trust with 100 percent certainty about this matter. It's a nameless lawyer. Who knows who this person even was, if they were even actually a lawyer or if it was just someone who took a chance on themselves and hoped that somehow Corey Feldman would run out there and dish out news like this. And in the hopes that he would name them, of course, Corey did not name them. So, you know, there's just a lot to consider. My whole point is I wouldn't necessarily get overly excited because there's nothing here that's backing up what he's saying. He's saying that the legal battle is over. So we'll see if that ends up being true over the course of the next coming weeks, months or whoever knows how long this is going to take until we get to see Jason Voorhees back again. It's been so long since we were without Jason and again, me not even being the biggest fan of him when it comes to the big three. I'm I, I, I don't care how long it takes. I'm, I'm just being honest. I would love to see, see another film at some point, but I don't care how long it takes. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications in this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. All right, my guys, I will see you in the next video.